Now that we have understood the first two parts, now that we have understood the first two parts, the first one relating to the first one which was relating to the identification of contracts with customers and the second one which was relating to our uh, performance obligations which are embedded into a contract. We have seen what is a contract, what is the performance obligations in a contract and I told you that in a contract there could be multiple performance obligations. There could be a delivery of multiple distinct goods and services or there could be a series of distinct goods and services which are substantially same but they are delivered to the customer and there is the same pattern of transfer to customer. Now we have seen these first two steps. The third step in determination of revenue is to determine transaction price. What do you mean by a transaction price? What do you understand by this term transaction price? Transaction price is nothing but consideration, right? What is this consideration paid for? This consideration is paid for the exchange of goods and services by the supplier. So that means I'll define it like this. A consideration is an, a, a consideration, a transaction price is the consideration which an entity expects in exchange for the goods and services transferred under the contract. What is the consideration that the, that the entity expects for the exchange of goods and services under the contract can be called as transaction price. However, your transaction price specifically exclude amount collected on behalf of third party. What is this amount collected on behalf of third party? Let's say I am selling a product but towards the end I said delivery by uh, you know within one day. Aero flight delivery within one day 49 rupees. Normal delivery within two days 20 rupees by DHL couriers. So like this I have mentioned. These are not supposed to be included in the transaction price because these are the charges which are collected on behalf of a delivery service. GST is collected on the service. This GST is collected on behalf of the department. Therefore, it cannot be considered as my revenue. It cannot be considered as my transaction price. So my transaction price is only limited to the consideration which is receivable by the supplier for the exchange of goods and service under the contract. The consideration which the entity expects for, for, exchange, of for exchange or delivery of goods and services under the contract and it will definitely exclude all amounts collected on behalf of third party. Now, this transaction price should have adjustments. What adjustments should you do? I should perform the adjustments regarding valid expectations of any discounts or price concessions offered. It is always adjusted by certain discounts and price concessions which are offered. I generally offer as a business practice a discount of 5% on my goods. Today you find Ratnadi, Moore Supermarket, Bajaj Superman, everyone displaying 5% off on bill. That's a general price rebate. So therefore from the transaction price such valid expectations of discounts should be reduced. However, the customer risk of credit that means the customer may not be able to give me the value at the end of the uh, uh, when the amount falls due he might become a bad debt to me these are credit risk of customer such credit risk of customer should not be adjusted in determining of transaction price while determining transaction price there are particularly certain adjustments which we have to look at what are the adjustments which i have to look at i have to look at the adjustment of first one regarding variable consideration what is variable consideration means? If the customer, uh, if the supplier completes the project within a specified time limit, they are entitled to receive 10% bonus. Variable consideration. It depends upon future event. So these are variable consideration which can increase the transaction price. Same way there can be a penalty if the time period taken by the customer, by the supplier is beyond a particular time. So this will reduce the transaction price. They are in short called as variable consideration. 
second adjustment constraints in variable consideration what do you mean by this constraint of variable consideration constraint of variable consideration means i will recognize revenue under variable consideration only to the extent only to an extent where it is not possible or where i don't expect a significant reversal of revenue in future i don't expect the revenue to reverse in future to such extent i will recognize revenue that is the second adjustment called as constraint in variable consideration third one is the involvement of time value of money into transaction price if the transaction price is estimated to be received after a particular period of time then that amount is called as time value of money third one fourth one is non cash consideration so sometimes consideration may not be collected in the form of cash but it might be collected in the form of other than cash certain exchange of products barter system so that is non cash consideration sometimes for a delivery of a product i might receive securities of the company i might receive bonds in the company i might receive equity shares in the company that is non cash consideration number 5 any amount of consideration payable to the customer sometimes a consideration payable to the customer earlier discussed as a part of sic 18 now here we are discussing as a part of adjustments in transaction price how many adjustments we have seen five adjustments so let us recap what we have seen so i'm saying number 1 that adjustments are variable consideration number 2 constraint in variable consideration number 3 time value of money number 4 non cash consideration number 5 consideration payable to customer what is the transaction price a consideration which the entity expects to receive in exchange of goods and services which are transferred to the customer under the contract i am entitled to receive a certain consideration for the exchange of goods and services under the contract to a customer such consideration is called as transaction price should exclude any amount collected on behalf of third party it should be adjusted for a valid expectation of rebates and discounts or price concessions but should not be adjusted for credit risk of customer whenever there is a credit risk of customer i will have to apply your indias 109 para 5.5 clear where we talk about impairment of financial assets moving on now we'll talk about each adjustment separately first adjustment regarding variable consideration variable consideration is where a part of the promised consideration is dependent or contingent upon an uncertain future event i expect to complete the project within 15 months if i complete the project within 15 months i am entitled to receive a bonus of 10% i am expected to complete the project after 18 months if i complete the project after 18 months i'll have to reduce my transaction price by 10% of penalty this is a part of the consideration which is contingent upon the uncertain future event or sometimes the facts and circumstances of the entity intends to offer a price concession now whenever you want to determine a transaction price under variable consideration your consideration can be 100 if you complete within 18 months if you complete within 15 months your consideration could be 110 your consideration could be 90 if you complete after 24 months so this way multiple outcomes are possible whenever there are multiple outcomes possible under variable consideration for me to determine transaction price it will be the price which represents the entity's expectation of collection for transfer of goods what do i expect to receive Now, how do I identify my expectation to receive? There are two ways of determining transaction price under variable consideration. One is called as most likely amount. Other one is called as expected value. I will apply the uh, transaction price identification by most likely amount under variable consideration if there are only two possible outcomes. Either the outcome should be hundred or the outcome should be wanted. Which one should I select? most likely amount should be selected so either a or b but if the number of outcomes are not two but there are three or more than three 